On the day of the eclipse of the sun, some of the crew and passengers of a BOAC stretcher cruiser reported seeing mysterious objects in the sky over the Atlantic. When the airliner arrived back in Britain, the pilot, Captain James Howard, was asked to describe these objects by our reporter, Peter May. Well, very conveniently, Captain, we've got a nice blackboard here. Do you think you could illustrate this phenomenon for us? Could you show us what it looked like, very roughly? I'll try it. When I look out of the left hand window of the um, nose of the traffic cruiser, I see something like this. Well, that is the uh, false wing, one of the engines of the shore. And on this occasion, the horizon was at about that level with low clouds way beneath us. The sun had just set over here. And these objects appeared something like this. The large object appeared at times to be something like that, with the smaller object in relation to it something like this. They were sometimes ahead of it, sometimes behind. And the shape of this object was continually changing. Sometimes one end would appear to disappear, sometimes this was very much larger, sometimes it was almost that these shapes there, like this. It was always uh, black in silhouette, and always uh, quite a clear edge to it. And when it finally disappeared, it seemed to dissolve. Yes, the uh, smaller ones did just disappear first, and this shrunk, just shrunk down until it was no more than just a, a speck, and then even a bad disappeared. Now, would you say that that possible uh, some sort of optical illusion, or would you say it was an intelligently navigated craft? At least ten, ten of us, the entire crew and some of the passengers, watched this object for 18 minutes. And it maintained station alongside us, some distance away. And I think there's no question that it was no illusion and that it was being intelligently handled.